Do you need to know exactly what to look for in a guy? Yes, there are lots of guys out there, lots of qualities, lots of different personalities, but there are four things that are non-negotiable when you're looking for a guy. Keep watching this video to find out what they are. I'm Danielle Ford, the founder of Young Moms Club, where young moms go to empower themselves and design their perfect lives. Now, I'm not the kind of person to stereotype anybody. I can't tell you exactly what kind of guy you need. You might have a certain type. I don't really believe in having a type of guy. There's different guys who are in different parts of their life and have different things to offer, but there are four things that you need to know to look for when you're looking for a guy because these are really important for anybody young mom or not. Now the first thing is that he has to have his shit together. Now this doesn't mean that he has to be like super successful or already be where he wants to be with his end goals or anything like that, but he has to have his shit together. He has to do the things that he says he's going to do. You have to be able to trust him. You have to know that he's going to be there for you, that he's dependable, that he is respectful and responsible. These are things that are very necessary. Uh, in a relationship and if a guy doesn't have these the relationship will not last it will fall apart now the second thing is that he needs to respect all women now a lot of guys are respectful to you and then they're very disrespectful to women in general whether it's uh, something they see on TV and they're calling some girl a, a bit bitch or a hoe or something or in real life if he's talking about ex-girlfriends any guy that's gonna disrespect ex-girlfriends is bad news. You have to think if he's going to talk that way about his exes, he might talk that way about you one day. You need to make sure that he respects his mother and all of his family members. Uh, even if he doesn't like his mom, you know, or agree with her on everything, he needs to show her respect. He needs to be respectful to all women. And whether you have kids or not, this is going to be extremely necessary for when you do have kids, especially if you have a daughter. You need a man who's going to treat your teach your daughter or son how to respect women. This is something that you cannot allow to happen if he's not respectful to women. The third thing is that he needs to have similar beliefs as you. Now, I'm not gonna say what's right, wrong, or indifferent as far as beliefs go. I think everybody's entitled to their own beliefs, but whatever your beliefs are, your guy needs to be at least relatively similar in that. It doesn't work. Like, some people try it to be different religions, they might even make it work, but those are very, very few and far in between. Mostly, it's not going to work, especially if he has lower beliefs than you. If you have ideals and you have you know, a way of living your life and he doesn't, even if you like his personality, even if he treats you good, even if you, know, you have fun together, it is not going to work out if you guys do not have the same ideals, values, and beliefs. And the fourth thing is that he needs to be able to express his feelings. Now, I'm not saying that he has to be like a little sissy man or whatever, but there's nothing wrong with a man who expresses his feelings. In fact, that's what he should do. That's what makes men, men. If you find a guy who's unable to express his feelings every time he's sad, upset, whatever, he either bottles it up or he acts out in rage or whatever, that's just very unhealthy. It's not going to end well. You need to have somebody who is able to calmly express his feelings, talk through it, not feel like a little sissy boy, you know, not feel like he's too sensitive, and actually deal with his emotions. This is very important, especially if you have kids or if you plan on having kids with this person because as your kids grow up, they really need to learn how to express their feelings in the right way, and you need a male role model helping them with that. And this isn't something that you can change on a person. If he's a person who freaks out all the time, something happens, or he's abusive, aggressive, anything like that, it's not gonna change. People can change, but he's gonna have to do that himself. So you cannot get in a relationship with somebody who doesn't express his feelings the correct way because it's just, it's gonna blow up. So those are what I think are the four most important things regarding what to look for in a guy. Now you let me know, is there anything that you think should be added to that list? Have you ever been in a relationship with a guy who didn't meet some of the things on that list? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, then please click like, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. And if you're not yet part of the club, then head over to youngmomsclub.com. Enter your name and email. I'm going to send you the seven steps to being a kick-ass young mom, connect with you one-on-one, -on -one, and connect you to the rest of the moms in the club. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I will see you in the next video. I'm so happy that I don't have to date because dating sucks. So happy. Dating sucks. <laughs>